Hello everyone, today we'll see how Excel treats averages, how we can find the average of a few numbers using an Excel formula. We have here a simple uh, set of numbers, 6, 5 and 4, and we're going to find the average of these three numbers. So uh, Excel has this formula called average, and then I type it with the equals sign. and. Uh, um, in the parenthesis, uh, we specify the names of the cells uh, that contain the numbers uh, whose average we want to find. In this case, that's B4 colon B6. So that was a straightforward case. Now, sometimes the range of numbers uh, for which you want to find average may contain some blank values. So what happens then? Now, Excel will treat blank values as if the numbers were never there. So it will not affect the result of your average. So now, in this example, if you were to find the average for the numbers in the cells C3 through C6, um, the cell C4 has a blank, but that does not affect the answer. The average is still the same, which is number 5. As you can see here, the fact that the cell C4 has a blank uh, does not affect the result. In the D column, the cell D4 has a value of 0 instead of a blank, and this does affect the result. Unlike a blank, a zero is actually a number. So if you're trying to find the average of the cells um, D3 through D6, then zero is one of those numbers and that is going to affect your average. As you can see, the average for the numbers 6, 0, 5 and 4 is 3.75, which is nothing but uh, the sum of those four numbers, 6 plus 0 plus 5 plus 4, divided by 4. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video.